Hi, this is Wallace from Capturing Reality, and I'm going to show you how to make sequences in Reality Capture. This tool can be used to automate sequences of commands. This can save you a lot of time working in the GUI, especially if you find you are regularly processing your datasets in the exact same way, or if you need to adjust lots of settings for specific equipment, then readjust the settings for other equipment. Now you can save any sequence of actions onto a single button. So you need a console window, and down at the bottom here, I don't know if you knew this, but you can write CLI commands straight in here. So here's my model, it's 7.7 .7 million triangles. First thing I'm going to do is to reduce that to a more manageable size. So just like using CLI, you start with the command with a hyphen, and then the great thing about this is you can start typing it in, and then once you have enough that you think you can get the name out, you press tab, and then you just keep tabbing through until you find the command you want. So I want a preview model, and then I just hit enter, and it's going to reconstruct a preview model quickly for me. There you go, that's far more manageable. Um, and say I wanted to simplify that to 10,000, I can just do the same site hyphen, SI, tab, simplify, and then across, and then uh, 10,000, and bang quickly simplified model. Now let's say I wanted to use an XML just like you might do in CLI. Well, let's go to the simplified tool, simplify, and we can save these settings. So there we've got simplify to 10,000 uh, with a color reprojection and normal reprojection and a custom unwrap of a single 4K texture. So the way you save an XML is this little button here and I have my own folder in my PC documents, XMLs for sequences. I recommend doing the same if you're gonna use this tool a lot. And I do recommend using this tool a lot because it's very handy if you do the same things over and over again. Uh, so let's just call that uh, simp uh, 10K 4K. So now we can go back up. If, if I press up, it will remember all of my previous commands. So it's like a history. Press up again, then press down. And you can see it's remembered my command. So I can just delete the 10,000 and I need to put a path in to the, uh, to the XML. If I just show you again, if I type in the simplify again with the tab, you can see it, it tells you what parameters you can add right here, which is really handy. So let's just go here and I'm gonna give you another trick now. If I do control and enter, you can see I can just navigate to my XML and then it fills in the entire path. So now I'm going to actually show you how to make a sequence. So to do that, you press this little plus button here and give it a name. So again, simp 10K 4K. And if I go to the workflow tab in the ribbon now, you can see we've got sequence. It was there before, but it didn't have this button. And there's my button. Um, I'm not gonna press it because it's probably gonna take too long. So uh, when this video was made, um, this, this is a new uh, feature in the latest version of Reality Capture. And we have another new feature, which is edit selection. So I'm gonna combine the two in this video because they work quite nicely together. So first of all, I, I'll just tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to um, write a, a little script that selects half of the cameras here um, so that we can texture in half of the time. Because often you don't need all the cameras for texturing. I mean, I don't highly recommend this, but it's just an example of the kind of thing you can do. So uh, here, in, I'm in the help here. It's pretty handy, the help. You can find all of the uh, CLI uh, stuff there. Um, but I happen to know that down at the bottom of here, it's got the uh, regular expressions. Um, and this is the one I want because this will select any images that end in a zero, two, four, six, or eight that are JPEGs. So I'm gonna copy that with a control C and we'll start a new line and control V. So let's give that a try. I'll just press enter. And there you go. You can see it's selected half of the cameras. So 
what I want to do with the new command is I want to turn off um, texturing and coloring for all those cameras. So back here, up, and the new command is hyphen and edit. If I just do ED and then tab, you can see all the new things that we can edit and it's input selection we want. And you can see it should be a string containing key equals value. So we'll go down here and do exactly that. So we need inverted commas. And you can just copy the name from right here. Um, if you wanted to do something which has a drop down here, say prior pose, you would type in prior pose and then just do a slash like that. Then whatever um, uh, key you want here and then equals and then the value there. Um, so that's the syntax going into the drop downs. But I don't need to be in a drop down because I am in selected inputs right here. So I need to just type in enable and texturing and coloring um, and then equals and a good tip is don't use enable and disable always just use true and false so I'll set them to false and then close the inverted commas so let's just try that and there you go you can see it's gone to disabled um, so this is going to make quite a handy button I'll just press up again to get my history and then space and then all we need to do after that is calculate the texture so hyphen and then cal and tab again and we have calculate te texture so let's put a plus there and make my speedy text speedy text button okay and you can see speedy text has appeared up there and I am going to set it off And there's my super fast textured model. So just another quick word before I finish this video. Um, you can actually see up here in the console, it says you can use imp texturing. Um, I would recommend doing that. So wait, let's get rid of our calculate texture so we don't have to wait. And we can change this to imp texturing. Uh, now, I'll just change it to true so we can see if it works and hit that uh, watch down here as I hit it there you can see it changed back to enabled now that's a good idea because if you type in what's here it's um, only going to work in your language so if you wanted to share a script with somebody and they have the GUI in a different language it won't work but um, these suggestions up here will work in any script so you can send them and share them around. So that's everything. That is how you make sequences in Reality Capture. So thank you very much for watching and goodbye.